welcome back to my channel today i am going to be cleaning i have a lot of cleaning to do my whole house is an absolute mess and um yeah it's just been a week of uh, christmas prep buying <laughs> christmas preps uh, like food and presents and all that kind of stuff and in between that i am working the kids are at school and yeah i've been trying to put some videos out for you guys as well i'm trying to do some diys that you will see in the new year so it's been super busy and my house has taken a beating for that so there's stuff everywhere it's untidy but not dirty but it's very untidy um and today i just want to i have an hour and a half to get this house cleaned because i am taking my daughter to go and buy christmas presents for her brother um i did his yesterday so i'm doing her today and then um they tend to do that they don't want each other to know what they bought so i always have to do it separately um yeah so uh yeah so that's my plan and i have to go to the post office i've got quite a few errands to run so i've got an hour and a half to dedicate to cleaning and i thought i would take you guys with me i haven't done a cleaning video for a very very long time uh but i'll just turn it around so you can see the amount of mess that i have got going on this is shameful but bear with me okay so i will start in my room as you can see it is quite a mess i haven't even made my bed yet um it's early morning i got up and i did a few things and my bed still looks a mess and i've got clothes a bag and uh stuff at the back christmas presents hiding in the corner there uh those in there's a, a jumper that has to go to the charity shop and then in that red bag it's some stuff that i bought that i'm going to be sharing with you guys in another video and then see there's stuff up there that gorgeous painting my daughter made for me um yeah so there's there's just things that's why i said it's not dirty it's just super untidy there's just things everywhere this is outfit from yesterday for work that i sprayed with antibacterial now it's on my bed so there's just things everywhere i need to get it clean so i'm gonna start as i always do in my room i clean all the bathrooms and the toilets yesterday so thankfully i don't have to do that so i'm gonna start in my room and then i will move to the kids rooms and then downstairs so let's go an hour and a half I am changing the pillowcase on the pillows that I actually sleep on. So I'm going to take these two of them. So I'm going to take those two out and change them out and add them to the mountain of laundry that I have got to do. The Christmas presents that are waiting for me to wrap up are in like three bags sitting in the corner and I just wanted to kind of condense that, put that in one bag and then I can hide that in the corner in the meanwhile while I finish cleaning but I will try my level best to get them all wrapped up and put away by the when I get time at some point later on in the night today. Now that everything is off the floor, I can just go ahead and vacuum clean. I picked up my curtains and hung them up just so that I can have room to do everything. And I did the same with my bed as well, just so that I have access to all the spaces on the floor and I can thoroughly clean it. Dripping lights, paint the sky. 
I always vacuum and then I dust afterwards. Do I always? I don't think I do. I think I don't think I have a rhythm to it. Sometimes I would dust and then I vacuum. Other times I will vacuum my head and I dust. But the majority of the times I will always uh, vacuum and then dust. So vacuum the floors and then dust. Um, comment below. Let me know which order in which you do yours. I'm just using a random uh spray that i cleaning spray that i had i think this one is meant to be like window cleaners and don't mind me chatting away i was on the phone to my friend who was keeping me company while i got this done one room done and a few more to go this is a good start i think it took me like what about 20 minutes or less to clean this room so if i keep up with this momentum then my hour and a half will be pretty good so the next room is my son's room huh take a breath with me please as you see the mess in this space <laughs> um this is a fight that we have constantly but we will get there i i am hopeful we'll get there slowly we'll get there there were lunch boxes and cards and duvet covers and bed spreads and pillows and clothes and yes there was everything everywhere so there will be a lot of tidying up i think that's what's going to take a lot of my time in this space is getting it tidy like putting stuff away um and yeah and then make his bed and then do exactly the same thing i did in my room vacuum clean and then mop the f and then uh, vacuum clean the floor and then dust around I told you there was everything in this room football clothes there's like everything in this space um i tend to just you know like you know how they say if you don't love you cry i tend to just laugh at the mess in this space sometimes because i don't understand how it happens um but he's getting better at it i must say he's really trying his best and he's getting better at it we've just had a few really really busy days where they come back from school and we're having to rush to go do something so he literally will just take everything and leave away is um but he's getting he's getting much better at trying to tidy up i know his room doesn't show that and i sound like a very defensive mother but that's my job but <laughs> to be defensive but he's getting there it's all done it didn't take that long to be honest i think his room took a little bit less time than mine did uh to get it tidy um once i put all the clothes and everything off the floor it was super simple to just tidy up and clean now i'm in my daughter's room it's not as bad as my son's one was um she's just got a few things you see she's more organized her bed was made this morning she's the only one who had a bed made and you see i'm literally just tidying up some clothes that i had uh left in here after i did some laundry and putting that away and sorting out some of the stuff that she'd left around um i'm putting them in the laundry box or folding them and putting those away as well so it really will be the same 
routine um pack stuff away vacuum the floor and then dust around i would really like to know because i know i've had a few comments before where someone has said you need to dust before you vacuum and and i'm like no nah. my rationale is if i dust first and then i vacuum then the dust is gonna go everywhere it's my head i guess but i tend to vacuum first and then i dust now that i'm saying it out loud it sounds like the wrong way around but i would really be interested in knowing how you guys do your cleaning So her room is all done this took me less than 10 i think about 10 minutes to get it done it didn't take that long at all so i'm downstairs now but this there's been a time lapse of about an hour after i finished my son my daughter's room because i had to do something with a friend so i had to stop when she came over so we could finish what that was anyway so now we're back to the cleaning again so at my time time lapse is like and now i'm rushing because i have a lot to do still um but i needed to wash all the dishes these are some of the things that i brought from upstairs when i was cleaning my son's room and i will do this really quickly and then it will just be to clean all the surfaces and then mop the floor um i don't really need to be doing any type of deep cleaning or, or anything of that sort my the house was really it wasn't dirty dirty as you would say it was just untidy there were just things everywhere where they didn't belong to be belong so i just wanted to make sure that i did that i'm using this is my favorite 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 thing to clean my stainless steel sink with is barkeeper's friend i use it all the time it's just like the best thing it's very little scrubbing is required to be honest with you and it will take off any watermarks any soap scum that you have in your on your sink so so simple and where i live the water is so hard so i say this all the time and the little droplet of water will draw something you will see it even when it's dry you will see it on the surfaces which is quite irritating so but this is like the best product to kind of get rid of it so i buy them they sell them everywhere i'm in the uk they sell them everywhere um any supermarket that you walk into have them home bargains have them i've never seen them in b m actually but i know home bargains carry them as well <laughs> this is one of my favorite favorite products this is the flora uh, cleaning products i'm using the winter morning and at that i use a little bit and it will make all of that um that i am using at the moment with some water and i use it to clean my surfaces i use it to clean the floors i use it to clean it's just it's a good antibacterial and it leaves your house smelling 
absolutely gorgeous gorgeous and um there's so there's so many many things you could use this for sometimes i'll just pour a little bit inside my sink drain and or i'll leave it with like hot water inside the sink and the whole kitchen would just smell really really beautiful if you haven't tried it i would highly recommend it but i don't think there's anyone that hasn't tried the flora as yet if you haven't good god where have you been especially if you live in the uk because i know they don't have it in the us but the one that i've seen that we have here that i've seen them in the us is called fabuloso i think and it it's just as good as the flora is um so if you see that one also try it um i have cleaned the floors in the kitchen and i'm leaving it to dry before i go back and i put the runner and the bar stools back um so i thought instead of just standing there wasting time i will start cleaning the dining area this was super easy to do um same thing and i'm using my zeflora now just to clean everything this is a space that we use an awful lot my dining table we eat here my daughter do, does a lot of art here we do homework on here so it gets a lot of traffic and yeah and so i tend to make sure that i use antibacterial to clean it just to make sure that it's not only clean but it's bacteria free i'm using the same thing on the floor like i said um and just running through i'm being really lazy right now you haven't seen me use the vacuum cleaner because i'm just using my mop and this mop is absolutely amazing also you use it it will clean the floor and get rid of all the dust while you mop so i just decided to run the vacuum over the runner just one more time i did it before um and get the bath tools back and this is what the kitchen looks like all clean um very easy to do it i'm really amazed about how it's just putting stuff away if your house is tidy it if it's untidy it really looks dirty but even when it's not but it's when you tidy things up everything just seems to be a little bit more calmer which is how i like the space the floors are clean everything is clean so the only space that's left now is my living room area so and the only thing to do here is to tidy up the cushions which i did sorry i didn't show you um and then to clean my coffee table and then vacuum the rug and mop around there but that's all that i have got left to do I am so happy that this is all done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you stopping by. If you're new, please not forget to subscribe. I really would appreciate it. Have a wonderful Christmas with your families and loved ones and please keep safe. I will see you soon. Bye.